chest. That's awesome. What? So how do you turn this into this? Let me show you. So starting with this base image, I'm just going to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer, which allows me to drag the hue slider, which will change the hue or the color of everything in the scene. So if I want to go more towards a spring look with green, I'll just drag it over to the right. Saturation is a little extreme, so I need to pull that down just a little bit so it looks a bit more natural. So now we've converted it from a fall shot to a spring shot. Now let's do that gradient. Come over here and click on the gradient tool. You can also hit the letter G. The hue saturation adjustment layer is selected, but the layer mask is most selected because of the white corners. With my color set to black to white, and you can get it back there just by hitting the letter D very quickly or X. D sets the default colors. X will toggle them back and forth. I'm just going to click and drag at a diagonal, the longer the drag, the more gradation or feathering there is from one side to the other. Let me show you the mask by holding down the Alt or Option key and clicking on it. So that's the mask I just created. If I were to draw just a short line, you see there's a very little transitional space between. Let's toggle that back on by hitting the eyeball. See, it's a very hard line. So if you want a softer transition, just drag it a bit further and figure out where you want it. I think I like mine somewhere right about here. And that's all you do. Hope that helps. Yes! Hey, what are you still doing here? It's over. Yes! Actually, all kidding aside, I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider subscribing. I like subscribers. That's awesome. What? You just took one in the jugular, man. Huh. Whoa. Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I did. Is this bad? Is this bad? You should pull that out. <laughs>